let's get started. Today I'm going to show you how to make the golden lasso, uh, glass cutter, cursed lasso, <clears throat> and then we'll explore the lava mill a little bit. Uh, all of these are part of the Extra Utilities 2 expansion for Minecraft. Here I'm showing you just crafting recipes and then we'll craft one. You need four gold nuggets and four uh, oops, four string back out. Okay. <clears throat> Four in the corners. There you go, golden lasso. Additionally, if you were to take a golden lasso and put it with a drop of evil, you get a cursed lasso. <clears throat> we'll explore just what those do in a little bit. Let's just do our crafting to start. So we're trying to make <clears throat> a glass cutter. So by putting iron ingots the top to right, bottom left, stick in the middle, here's your glass cutter. Okay, let's go explore what these do a little bit. <clears throat> Actually, let's warp out. Okay, of course, it's nighttime. But we can still play with this dust. So the glass cutter is kind of neat because you use it to arm our blocks of glass without it breaking. That's kind of nice. Um, that's the main use in my mind. Um, it's a good tool in that sense. If you're specializing in glass structures, especially, because uh, otherwise it gets annoying to have to recraft or make more. All right, and then the two lassos. Let's take a look at those. So the golden lasso, good for taking neutral creatures. Let's, maybe we'll start with the cursed lasso. Yeah, let's we'll start with the cursed lasso. <clears throat> First lasso. Thank you. That left. Yep. All right. So he's down to his last health. So now that he's down to his last health, we can use the cursed lasso to grab him. Should be able to. That's the advertised use. Two more enemies. Oh. That wasn't good. Well, the baddies are out tonight. Look at that pig slow. Oh well. Well, <clears throat> lava mills. I just happened to have a couple of buckets of lava with me. That'll make things a little easier. 
So, our lava meltdown. So, currently, no power is generated. <clears throat> we have a little bit of grid power currently from our water mill. Um, now, this is activated by being close to lava blocks. So, the water mill placed the water blocks a space away so that it has flowing, um, flowing power to it. So, you can see this one is pr producing one and a half. However, lava mills are a little different. They actually prefer to have a block directly next to it. This one has one block of lava on one side and it's generating two power. So by having it one away, we're actually losing half a power. So by, so by the time we get four of these, Working with lava can be dangerous. There, we got all four placed down. Still only doing two. So, I guess this is not quite like the water mill where it, the more flowing you have into it, the better. In this case, it looks like um, two is the most it will generate as long as it has a source block next to it. So, in theory, if we place one here, that should get two by proximity to this source block. And if I were to take away other ones, that would have no impact on the power, <clears throat> the power generation. So that one, one source block can power up to four lava mills, looks like, which would get you to a piece. So eight total. It's kind of expensive relative to the water mill. I think that's a better deal. And plus, with the flow blocks, you can get quite a bit more power um, per unit. But you just so happen to have a ton of lava around. This is one way to generate power. Um, I suppose if you were in the nether region, this might be the better way to go. <clears throat> so there's that consideration. But that's it. So that's your, your lava mill there. Things have calmed down, so let's see if we can daddy to pick up. <clears throat> too peaceful during the day and too active at night. What are you gonna do? Pigs down there. We got them. You can see the benefit there, certainly from a farming perspective. Being able to pick up and deposit friendly animals. Big <clears throat> plus. Put a few pigs around here. So if I wanted to, I could get a little pig farm going pretty easily. That's definitely nice. Get over here. Some cows and sheep. So maybe I'll do that at some point. Oh, more lava. So, given that it's daytime, we're going to have to go down to find a baddie to use our cursed lasso on. Where was that cave from the other day? <clears throat> One over here, I think. Oh, A nice little lava mountain over there. That's just one source block doing all that. Well, maybe it's not our lucky day for that. We'll uh, <clears throat> have to get the cursed lasso another time. But that's the purpose of it, to uh, be able to grab enemies that are weakened. Um, and then the benefit to doing that would be, say, having a war with somebody on your shared server and you wanted to drop some bad guys in their base you could totally do that <clears throat> I don't think they'd appreciate it but uh, I guess one way to grief other people if you really wanted to not that I'm recommending that but that's about the only real use I could think of um, you know other than maybe maybe 
trying to capture some. If those would count. Neutral. Bad. Good guys. All right. They told us it wasn't a hostile mob because we tried the cursed one on there. Put him back, actually. All right, well, that's it. Got to show you a few things. Um, lava mill, the golden lasso, how to build those, as well as build the cursed lasso. If you enjoyed the video, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.